These are the Target K-Flex. Now, unless you've been living under a rock for the last six months, you know that these are the hottest all-in-one flight system ever the market. Today, we're gonna to look at what all the fuss is really about, and if you should look at getting some for yourself. The K-Flex is being used by some of the best players in the world. Luke Littler, Raymond Van Barneveld, Scott Williams, just to name a few. And if you've tried to get some yourself, you might know it's actually a little bit easier to get your hands on unicorn shit than it is a set of K-Flex. So that begs the question, are they really that good or is it just a fad that will eventually phase out and we'll go back to the original flights and stems that we always used to use? Just a little side note, if you've been following me on TikTok for a while, you know that I've been using the K-Flex for a long time. And I pride myself on being the most average of average players. So if anyone's gonna give you a legitimate review on the K-Flex, it's gonna be me. Not your top pros, not your really, really bad players, a bang average player like myself. I don't know, I think that's a bit dodgy, mate. Saying that, let's get into it. Oh, and while we're talking on TikTok, don't follow me on TikTok, at Sam underscore Brat. And also, give me a little subscribe on here. Legends. So where's the best place to get the K-Flex from? Well, I would definitely say the Target website. If you go to the website and click K-Flex, you'll see they're on there for £8.50. But for this video, we're gonna compare them to a standard set of flights and stems. So you can see here, I've got the Amazon flight from eBay for £3.95, and also the Nylon Darts stems from eBay again for £3.49 for five sets. So I've got five sets of flights, five sets of stems. This is the exact setup I used before I got the K-Flex and I had to change the flights and stems probably once a week. So let's do the maths on that. A set of K-Flex would cost you £8.50 and they last me about two months. If we do the maths on the Amazon flights and the nylon stems, these come in at about £1.49 a week, which is £11.92 in two months. So now we know the prices of the K-Flex and the original flights and stems, let's have a look at them in close detail. This is the K-Flex. This has been used for well over a month, probably six weeks, and it's still in quite good condition. This is an original flight and stem, brand new out of the packet. If you look at the K-Flex, it's got a little bit of giving it. The Amazon flight and stem, a little bit more giving it. And a lot of people say they don't like the K-Flex because it gives a lot of deflections and bounce outs. Well, today we're gonna test that. I'm gonna try and get 10 deflections with both the K-Flex and the normal flight and stem. I'm gonna throw five darts at the K-Flex. When it deflects off, I'll count the score where it deflects to. I'm gonna do five with the dart upright and five with the dart flat in the board. I'll then repeat the test with normal flight and stem. I'll tally up the scores at the end. So you know what I said earlier about me being a bang average player? This might take a while. Just gonna let it roll and let's see how it goes. 10 deflections what we want. That was the deflection, that went in. That's one done. Then we're gonna throw five with it upright and five flat. That went in. That went here again. I'd like to add, I haven't warmed up either. This is my first throws of the day. <laughs> Incredibly slow. And uh, you know, it obviously takes a long, long time to take his darts out. That was deflection. Also a deflection. That's three out of five deflections with it upright. Did that deflect? Are we counting that one? Let's say no. No, that one didn't deflect either. Looking back at the video, it did actually deflect. It's five. I'm going to blow the dart in flat, nice and flat, and let's see how it deflects off that. That deflected off the second one. That deflected seven. That deflected eight. That deflected nine. That deflected. There's the 10 deflections done. I'm gonna add up the scores and put them just here. Now, as you'll see, I've changed the flights for the original flights and stems that you can just pick up pretty much anywhere. Let's have a go at these and see what differences in the scores. Now, I must add that I haven't used standard flights and stems for 
a long, long time. So straight away, initially, they feel like they fly really strange to me. That deflected. That did not. <laughs> Do its job. Whoa, where's that gone? Straight to first slip. There. They almost feel a little bit more flimsy and they don't fly as well through the air. Jeez, that didn't deflect. That didn't deflect either. Jeez. That deflected. That's two. I do these challenges just to remind me to warm up. <laughs> that deflected. Three. I think that one did. Four. It's really hard to tell if it deflects when you stood here because you can't see if it hits the dart afterwards or before. So I won't count it. Don't think that deflected. No, that one did either. But yeah, they just feel like they don't fly very well. They seem to fall out of the sky a bit quicker. They seem a lot lighter. Is that three, two? We'll say two. That deflected. Three. That deflected definitely. Four. So did that. Five. There we go. So test complete. I'll put the final scores up here and you can see for yourself the result. Don't even know myself yet. I'll have a look in a minute. So to sum up, should you go for the K Flex or should you go for the old school flight and stem? Well we know that the K Flex actually works out cheaper than the old school flight and stem because you haven't got to replace them as often. We know that in the deflection test, the K Flex actually won. So deflections wise, they are no worse, they're actually better. A couple of things which I haven't mentioned about the K-Flex is that there's no chance of getting Robin Hoods because there's no, obviously, stem you can get the points to dig into. Whereas on the old school flight and stem, you can get your point to dig into the stem of the dart that's already in the board. And one more thing is that the K-Flex wings are perfectly symmetrical all the time. Whereas we know on the old school flight and stem, you have to keep constantly bending the wings to make sure they're straight. If they're not straight, they won't fly perfectly. Whereas on a K-Flex, that's already done for you. It's not a huge thing, but for me, it's just one more thing to add to the positive list of the K-Flex. So I would definitely recommend the K-Flex. If you can afford them, if you can find them, definitely look and get them if you can. If you want to stick with the old school, then obviously that's up to you. But for me, I'll be sticking with the K-Flex. I hope you like this video. I hope it's been useful for you and I hope you've learned something. Please like and subscribe for more darts content. There'll be some coming every single week and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.